Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have 2 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power y, and this is also equal to 12 to the power z. And we have to find the value of 2yz over y minus z. I'll be using two approaches to solve this problem. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you're new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. I'm going to set everybody to a certain constant, say k, okay? So it means that 2 to the power x is equal to k, 3 to the power y is also equal to k, and lastly, 12 to the power z is also equal to k. Now from this first equation, if I raise each side of this equation to the power 1 over x, Applying the rules of indices, if I multiply this one by this, I have 2 over here and this is equal to k to the power 1 over x. Likewise, this one, if I raise each side of this equation to the power 1 over y, we have 3 is equal to k to the power 1 over y. And this one as well, if I raise each side of this equation to the power 1 over z, I have 12 is equal to k to the power 1 over z. All right, now I'm going to call this equation equation 1, then call this equation equation 2. Okay, now from these two equations, I'm going to divide equation 2 by equation 1. Okay, so we have 12 over 3 is equal to k to the power 1 over z over k to the power 1 over y. All right, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and this is equal to, now from indices, if I have a to the power b over a to the power c, this is the same as a to the power b minus c, okay? So I can write this right-hand side as k to the power 1 over z minus 1 over y, all right? Now let's go ahead and then raise each side of this equation to the power 1 over 2. So we have 4 to the power 1 over 2 here, and this is equal to k to the power 1 over z minus 1 over y, and everything is to the power 1 over 2. Okay, 4 is also the same as 2 to the power 2, and this is to the power 1 half, and this is equal to k to the power. Now from indices, I can multiply this one by this whole thing. Okay, so we have 1 over 2z minus 1 over 2y. Okay, and from here, this 2 will cancel this straight away. So we have 2 is equal to k to the power 1 over 2z minus 1 over 2y. Okay, now let's go back to the first equation. We are saying that 2 is equal to k to the power 1 over x. So in place of 2, I'm going to put this one over there. So we have k to the power 1 over x, and this is equal to k to the power 1 over 2z minus 1 over 2y. Okay, now the bases are equal, so I can equate the exponent. So we have 1 over x is equal to 1 over 2z minus 1 over 2y. Now let's go ahead and then simplify this. We have 1 over x is equal to, now from here, I'm going to combine these two fractions. So we have the LCM to be 2yz, then we have y minus z over here. Right. Now from the problem, we have to find 2yz over y minus z. Okay. So in order to get this fraction, we need to reciprocate this equation, okay? So we have x is equal to 2yz over y minus z. And this implies that 2yz over y minus z is equal to x. And this is our final answer. Now let's move on to the second approach. If you are interested in using log to solve this problem, this is your time. So let's get into it. Now on this first equation, I'm going to introduce log on the both sides. So we have 
log in base 10 2 to the power x is equal to log k. I'm going to move this x to the front. So we have x log 2 is equal to log k. And this is in base 10, right? Dividing each side of this equation by log 2, we have x is equal to log k over log 2. And I'm going to call this equation, equation star. Okay. Now from this equation, introducing log on the both side, we have log 3 to the power y is equal to log k. So we have y log 3 is equal to log k. Dividing both sides of this equation by log 3, we have y to be log k over log 3. All right. Now, if I reciprocate this equation, I have 1 over y is equal to log 3 over log k. And I'm going to call this equation, equation 1. All right. Now, let's focus on this equation. Introducing log on both sides, we have log in base 10 of 12 to the power z is equal to log k. So, we have z log 12 is equal to log k okay dividing each side of this equation by log 12 we have z to be log k over log 12 and this is also in base 10 all right now let's go ahead and reciprocate this so we have 1 over z is equal to log 12 over log k and I'll call this equation, equation 2. Okay. Now let's go ahead and then subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Okay. So we have 1 over z minus 1 over y is equal to log 12 over log k minus log 3 over log k. All right. Now you can see we have two fractions on the both side of the equation. So let's combine them. From the left hand side, we have the denominator to be yz, then the numerator to be y minus z. And this is equal to, now from here you can see that the denominators are the same, so I'll just write one. So we have log k over here, then the top we have log 12 minus log 3. Alright, now let's go ahead and then simplify this further. I'll just keep the left hand side. So we have y minus z over yz is equal to, now considering the numerator, this could be written as log 12 over 3 then over log k. Okay, so we have y minus z over yz is equal to log 12 over 3 is 4, so we have 4 here, then over log k. Alright, now we have y minus z over yz is equal to log, 4 could be written as 2 to the power 2, then over log k. Okay, so we have y minus z over yz is equal to I'm going to move this one to the front. So we have 2 log 2 over log k. Now from equation star, x is equal to log k over log 2. Okay, so it means that this whole thing is the inverse of this equation. Okay, so we have y minus z over y times z is equal to 2 times 1 over x, okay? So this implies that y minus z over yz is equal to 2 over x. Now, if you cross multiply, we have x into y minus z is equal to 2 times yz. Now, let's go ahead and then divide each side by y minus z, okay? So we have y minus z over here. So this y minus z will cancel this. 
So we have x is equal to 2yz over y minus z. Now this implies that 2yz over y minus z is equal to x. So guys, this is our final answer. You have been able to find the same thing using log. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.